Hey everybody, I hope you're having a great Thursday. It's raining here. It's been raining. It started raining last night, so it's rained through the day. At least it's not like terrible, terrible cold, but it is raining. I got the sweetest happy mail from Miss Shelly. Miss Shelly, thank you so much. What a very sweet happy mail for you to send to me. I tell you, it just really... Um, Things like this just cheer me up, cheer me up. So I've got to show you what Shelly put in here. She had this little card. Is that not the cutest thing? So she's made some chippies, and that is exactly what I'm going to do today is I am going to take her beautiful items, and I'm going to make some chippies too. I haven't made chippies in a really long time. Um, chippies are now called clusters. I didn't have anything to do with that, but... Apparently, that's, that's what they are now. Um, and I also want to go through here. I'm doing a lot of collage tags. You guys have probably caught those in the Etsy store. And I'm seeing some things that I could definitely use for those collage tags. So just a couple of projects going on here. I also want to show you this. Look at this. This is a little zine that, um, that Shelly did. I think it's awesome. Now, Jenny Belly did a whole tutorial about how to make these little zines out of one piece of paper. I haven't made one in a long, long time. They, it's just beautiful. Everything that she's done is just quiet and peaceful and graceful and lovely. Thank you, Shelly, so much. That is, that's going to go in my personal little stash because I love it. All right, let's get started. The first thing that I told you that I wanted to do is kind of pull some things out of here to use for collage. She has these two wonderful focal images, so I'm just going to pull those babies out and put them to the side. Those will be very inspiring for some collage ideas that I have going on. I kind of want to just look through here and find some chippy templates, you know, just some... Um, some small like pieces that I can build upon. This is perfect. This is perfect. This is perfect. 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 Look at this. Now, I don't know if she freehanded those. Good grief. It's so pretty. I just absolutely love them. All right, so we might use that as well. Um, I got a trusty glue stick here. I did not get out any scissors, so we're just going to be kind of cutting things up and um, playing with them just like they are. I love these coffee cups. I think that they're awesome. I have developed um, an intolerance to... Um, this is sad. Int intolerance to caffeine and i am um, caffeine has never bothered me i'm not one of these people who who uh imbibe in those um uh what do they call them um energy drinks but you know i did have a severe addiction to diet coke for a lot of years my ex-husband called that tammy's elixir of life and lord knows you know you didn't want to run out of that um, had to, had to run up to Jerry's Market and get some more, if you did. And then my, this is crazy, my auntie died. And when they cleaned out her house, and she was a heavy smoker, but when they cleaned out her house, she had, like, buckets of the tabs from Diet Coke, um, Diet Coke, cans now those tabs were um i think you used to be able to collect them and turn them in and it helped people with um when you went for dialysis or something like that i can't remember the exact way that played out but anyway just um after that you know i just i didn't want diet coke i, I can't really even explain it i I miss my auntie. It was like, did she drink all that Diet Coke? And, <laughs> you know, it just makes you think twice. And sometimes when you think twice, you kind of, um, you, you, you kind of change the way that, you know, that your perception about things or your taste or how you feel about something. Um, 
I'm very um, kind of sad about the whole caffeine thing, but it's okay because they make decaf coffee and that's what I've been drinking. Um, and, and that's just fine. I, I don't, I don't mind it. We went to, uh, Chris is addicted to Starbucks. So we went to Starbucks the other day and it wasn't the other day. It was maybe around Christmas and, uh, I got, uh, um, maybe a caramel latte thingy. I was like, yeah, dude, this is just. This is insane. This is just way too much to pay for a cup of coffee. He likes the... There we go. Little chippy as his love. He likes... Frappuccinos. And he always has to have, have one before he plays a show. He says it helps him sing. I'm like, it coats your throat. And he said, yeah, that's the idea. And I'm like, no. That's... <laughs> not not the idea at all you don't want your throat coated when you're trying to sing but anyway different strokes right different strokes for different folks everybody has a everybody has a everybody has their own way of thinking about things that's that's for sure for sure Um, I think I put, you know what, we, we kind of need to, here, I'm sorry, I've really kind of confused the whole show here. Oh, another chippy with a crown. Oh, so pretty. I don't have a uh, piece of poster board for my desk right now because I glued on it and it got dirty and it, it got really dirty so I had to ditch it and I have not picked up another one so no coffee just decaf glad to have decaf though I think it's odd because when you get older just things start happening like, and, and it's kind of unexplainable. You don't feel any different. Just things are different. Like everything is different. Um, I've got some little words. I did take out my chippy box. So I could kind of put words on these little chippies because we really like to do that. Um embrace that seems like a good word embrace the warmth of a cup of cocoa or a cup of hot chocolate or a cup of tea or a cup of coffee you know we really uh the world is super uncertain right now so we just really do have to embrace our blessings and appreciate our blessings and be cognizant of all of the beautiful things that that you have in life, especially <clears throat> when you think about the things that are missing in the lives of others. I am going to get out my scissors because I don't think I can tear that straight. Mia is waiting patiently on her supper. Susie went to the vet yesterday for his checkup. And he weighs 64 pounds now. Couldn't believe it. I'm like the little... That's so sweet. There's people on a sled. But I kind of made that springy. Um, so we'll stick with the... We'll stick with some spring... I'm going to use another one of these elements that Shelly made. You got to tell us how you did that, girl. Cause I'm, I'm, I mean, did you freehand that? Did you stamp it and then color it? It's absolutely beautiful. Oh. 
I'm watching, um, we're watching the Longmire series on Netflix right now. Highly recommend it. It's very, very, very good. I really am enjoying it. But last night I watched, um, oh gosh, I gotta look it up and I'll put it in the description box below. It's kind of a mix between, it's a Jane Austen-ish kind of spoof. Um, Jane Austen and Monty Python kind of smashed together. I can't remember the name of it. It's the name of a town, but I can't remember. It was hilarious and I really needed I really needed that laugh you know I really needed some some um, some levity there and it was really 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 good I'll put it in the description box below because the aforementioned rain can't really get out and do anything even though the days are longer until it stops raining here And I did watch uh, Pieces of Her. I have read the book, Pieces of Her. So when I started watching the Netflix series, I, I wasn't remembering that I had read the book. I got into it and was like, oh, wait, wait, wait. I remember this. I remember this. And it's got Toni Collette in it. And I really do like her so much. Very, very good series. It's like a, maybe eight parts, eight episodes. It's really good. So I watched that. And of course I've been watching Port Protection. That is one of my very favorite things to watch on TV. I love the, um, I love sustenance lifestyles. And that is what protection is all about so I really did enjoy that Chris has been uh, Chris plays tonight tomorrow Saturday Sunday it's kind of the wine season here you know wines wineries and breweries are starting to to book shows which is really nice and we've got a lot of new breweries and wineries that we're working with now that's always really nice i like to see you know, a lot of them are young families and young people who are kind of stepping into their first business so it's really fun it's sweet to watch youngins start building a business. Um, it's a great little word here together. Let's put that there. Oh, the screen is very inspiring, Shelly. I sure do like it a lot. You guys will notice new things over at the Etsy store. I'm kind of taking a break on journal making and making journaling supplies, which I'm really, I'm really digging it. Uh, uh, um, the next, I've been making tags and now I want, and I did um, a vintage paper pack. I got some $1 shipping going on over there, so take a look. You might find something that you can't live without. <laughs> Let's see, what are these things here? I just feel like that needs, um, oh, look. Yeah. I now I've got out my wacky big scissors, y'all. 
I do love them though. Oh, that looks really sweet. My, did I tell you that? My next project is journal covers, uh, like soft cover journal covers. I've got fabric that I would like to, to utilize. Thank you, Ms. C. Be having some fabric, fabric. Journal covers and journal toppers. Just kind of a, a mixed media fabric collage thing that you put on top of a journal cover. So I thought that would be fun too. Like Tom. That's sweet. So, are you are y'all like more chippies or more clusters? You see the diff the, the similarity, right? I don't know who invented clusters. It's awesome that they did though. Oh, these are it's very pretty. Got some moths. Moths. Not butterflies, but moths. That's a wee crooked. It's okay. And isn't that pretty? I like that. I think the word dreams would be really sweet. Okay. Let's do just a couple more. Mia turns into a buck and bronco when it's time for her to eat. So we're gonna get a dose of that if we don't don't feed her. <laughs> I'm really happy to get Susie all checked out and a clean bill of health for our fella. You guys might remember we uh, found him online on Facebook in some really um, rough situation because. Uh, he was on a farm in a county about an hour away. Oh, that's sweet. He uh, was in a pen with like it. It, it was just not not great. That that's all there is to it. So we're we're very happy that he is with us now. Chris went to the store this morning and didn't tell anybody where he was going. And I thought poor Cece was going to go absolutely insane because he doesn't like it when Chris leaves. And he bumped, you know, he would, he bumped his harness. We have their harnesses hanging up and he was bumping against his harness, looking out the window, howling, the whole deal. He was so upset. And his dad came back and he was happy. Happy boy. There's a bunny. This is such pretty paper, Shelly. It's very inspiring. Oh. Oh, and I'm going to send that to my mama. She'd like that. All right. We got this one. Look at this. There's a pretty little butterfly on that one. Let's see if me can find. Well, let's do this purple. I got purple right here. That would be nice. I am, I am, look, my Tim Holtz, um, <laughs> my frayed burlap stamp pad is really fraying. I've used that baby. Probably when I grab her, she goes, oh, not again. <laughs> and I go, but you're perfect. You're perfect for everything. 
I have a lot of other colors, but Frank Burlap's my five. Let's go with Living. All right, I'm really getting the stink off from me, so we're gonna have to have to finish up here. I know, we see. I know. Shelly, thank you again. It's just very sweet that you that you thought about me and thought about us over here. We do we do love our scraps, don't we? I mean we really do. It's amazing. You know, I watch I watch what you guys do with scraps and it's like wow, that's like that is really something. You guys inspire me all the time. Um, let's do free. And then we can use lovely. I've got one more rabbit down here that I don't want to lose. So let's do the rabbit. I'm going to lose it if I don't move it. I know, Mia. I'm getting there, Lisa. I'm so lucky because she's, she's 13 and loves to eat. Isn't that great? I mean, think about them getting older and, you know, losing their appetite. Not Mia. She's like a little bottomless pit. I'm so glad. I'm so glad we say. So I love, love, love that girl. All right, we'll see if we can make up a little story, my friends. Um, let's see. Oh, dear. fix this. All right, let's see what we got here. In a day and age where there's incredible uncertainty, we have to embrace being together and just living with love and dreams. We have to treasure the freedom that we have, embrace love, be free in this lifetime. It's all I could come up with. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks, Shelly, for sending along such wonderful paper scraps. We really, really appreciate it. Have a great day, y'all. Bye.